A leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. I wish I had come up with that, but it was actually American author John C. Maxwell. Hi everyone, I'm Sadie Clark, a psychology major in my final semester with BCC. In the fall of 2021, I was fortunate enough to learn a little bit more about what that quote means because I was lucky enough to be enrolled in the Community Leadership Honors Seminar. Through this class, I was able to delve into the characteristics that make a good leader and that learned that leadership is not a stagnant role, it's fluid and ever-changing. I grew a deep sense of understanding of why community leadership is so necessary right now. Community is the building blocks of society and is essential to nurture that community. This class also allowed me to examine with a critical lens and identify the root of many of today's problems that directly affect the town I live in. And of course, I explored my strengths as a leader, then learned how to use them to help others. It was through this class I realized my community is wrought with stress and the people need access to resources to help them reduce stress regardless of their income. As a certified yoga and meditation instructor, I realized I can use my skills and training in a service-based capacity to help others. I chose to work with two organizations that mirrored my morals and beliefs for this project. The first was the YMCA, which is a nonprofit committed to strengthening the community by empowering young people, improving the health and well being of people of all ages, and inspiring action in and across the community. During the pandemic, the YMCA realized the need for an online platform to bring their members' mind and body wellness to their homes. Together, we realized the room for an emphasis on mental well being and created a three part yoga and meditation video series for an at home practice, all intending to mitigate the effects of stress. I also co hosted a yoga wellness retreat that offered members a day to rest, renew, and rejuvenate their spirits. The proceeds of that retreat went directly to the annual YMCA fund, which subsidizes memberships for those that cannot afford them. A lot of my research for this project focused not only on the effects of stress in the general community, but also its effects on the female incarcerated population. And at the same time, through the Honors Community Leadership Program, I realized there was plenty of room to develop my skills as a yoga and meditation instructor. That's when I discovered the Prison Yoga Project. Their goal is to reduce violence and build pathways to better mental health in incarcerated populations through yoga and meditation. In partnering with the PYP, I broadened my understanding of trauma and addiction-informed yoga and meditation. I also learned about the philosophies of justice and incarceration and how they apply to yoga and meditation. With that training, I began to develop an online 13-week yoga and meditation program for incarcerated populations. If I could give three pieces of advice to anyone considering this course, they would be to pick something that you love and are passionate about. For probably the first time in your educational career, you can pick any topic you want to explore and how many people actually get that opportunity. Make it interdisciplinary. Allow yourself to be creative and intertwine as many classes as you can for this project. For example, I was able to incorporate what I was learning in statistics for behavioral and social sciences, my yoga and meditation background, and a bunch more to explore and engage in my very own learning. And of course, collaborate and use the BCC network. Bristol Community College is exactly that. They are a community that wants to see you grow and they are so willing to help. Without the input from my fellow classmates, my amazing instructors, Lisa and Aaron, pointing me in a clear direction, and the help of the research staff at the BCC library, I would have been lost. And off the top of my head, I can think of four clear reasons to enroll in the Community Leadership Honors Seminar right now. Number one, you will never regret taking this course. You will learn so much about yourself and grow both as a student and a person. You are learning skills in a real world way that will serve you for the rest of your life. Number two, this course allows you to explore the things you are passionate about and use them in a way that makes sense to you, no matter how big or small a way that is. And number three, it can set the foundation for further research and development, which I will talk about more in a minute. And of course, number four, it just looks super cool on your resume. <laughs> I cannot emphasize enough the things you will learn in this course. 
But if I had to pick my biggest takeaways, they would be how I was able to critically look at myself and discover my strengths and how to emphasize and apply them. And also how to work with diverse personalities, using their unique backgrounds and experiences to create stronger and more inclusive solutions. The service project was a really cool way to get out in the real world and learn something. It's a lot different than just sitting around the classroom and talking about it. This course gives you hands-on experience and a chance to see what it's actually like out there. But most of all, I learned to look at a problem through a larger than me lens, dig deeper than just surface level. Thinking back on this course, I realized that it gave me so much more than just three requirements, three credits toward my requirement. I truly realized that I can make an impact. I can be a leader. So now I'm in my final semester at BCC and what's super cool is I've continued the work I started in my community leadership honors seminar. I'm still working on my 13 week yoga and meditation series in hopes to collaborate with the correctional facility so inmates who need it can have access to it. And if that's not enough, I was able to use the groundwork for this project for my culminating honors project. I'm just putting the finishing touches on a book I'm writing called Your One Minute Guide to Breaking Up with Stress, an at-home based how-to handbook for ridding your daily life of unwanted tension. So back to that quote, as a leader, a leader is one who knows the way, goes the way, and shows the way. This experiential education course taught me just that, to find a solution, learn how to apply it, and inspire others to join me. Thank you. My name is Amy Melody, and I'm a recent graduate from the Hospitality Management and Event Planning Program at Bristol Community College. I knew without a shadow of a doubt that my passion for the events industry would take me far, as long as I had a strong foundation along with it. While enrolled in the degree program, I was introduced to Sandy and Dave Dennis, the executors of Creative Arts Network Fall River, which is a nonprofit organization. While my first introduction was in the fall of 2019, my main experience was during the fall 2020 semester and again in fall 2021, while I was enrolled in the community-based learning course. <clears throat> Learning how to manage my time and adapt to real world scenarios was something the community based learning course gave to me, which no standard course could. I still reflect on things I learned during this course in my daily life. CAN aims to bring the community together with focus on arts and culture within Fall River. In fall 2020, my class and I were onboarded to do a holiday concert and fundraising event with CAN. Little did we know, our world was about to turn upside down. COVID started rearing its ugly head and everything would change rapidly. These times truly were unprecedented. They were scary and stressful. Having to work through new obstacles in the event planning industry, which I had never faced before, was especially challenging with minimal classmate support. I now appreciate the added pressure which I faced by being the main coordinator of this event. During this community-based learning course, I had an epiphany. To no fault but my own, my plate was so overfull that I couldn't carry it anymore. I ended up having this realization in a parking lot one afternoon after being so stressed out that it was affecting my academics, personal life, and sleep schedule. I promised to myself that I would no longer stretch myself thin to make others happy all the time. The world wouldn't implode or end if I turned down an extra task. That realization was so empowering for me. Saying no and knowing your limits and sticking to your boundaries is admirable and something to be proud of. This ability allows you to have balance and offer more quality to the work which you produce. I use this time management and adaptability which I learned through working with CAN and completed my degree in 2021 of December. I have taken all these lessons and applied them to real world. I started my own wedding planning business up in January 2022. Events by Amy Melody is a New Bedford based business focused on creating unique weddings to suit each individual couple's love story 
No two couples are the same, so why should two weddings be? I am so thankful for all the experience I've gained with CAN, and I'm still affiliated with them as we speak. Thank you. My name is Isha Boyd. I am an honor student at Bristol Community College. I'll be graduating this May with my degree in human services. The community-based learning service course was a great foundation to gaining work experience while working in your field. I learned a variety of theories and concepts on how to effectively work within a system. And because of all of these tools, I've had a great deal of confidence in my workplace. My community-based work assignment was with AmeriCorps, a division of United Way of Greater New Bedford, with my host site or work office being at Pace Child Care Works. My duties included case management, facilitating parent cafes, which are therapeutic community groups for parents, nurturing parenting groups, and NBHA on-site play groups. The AmeriCorps program is still in its infancy, so I created a training and resource binder to assist future interns with everything needed to perform their duties, such as sample flyers, referral forms, and other relevant work information. Set firm, short, and long-term goals. Remind yourselves of the motivators or reasons why you decided to further your education, such as maybe your children, or providing a better future for you and your family. Place yourself in the new career and often visualize the things you will be able to do when you graduate. Be sure to use all of the resources the school has available to you. It will strengthen your chances for success and help you to achieve your ultimate goals. I gained experience in my degree field through my placement, which makes me confident in applying for future positions. I have obtained a better sense of direction for my career and am grateful for the opportunity to develop professionally. Most of all, I learned how to effectively collaborate with other community-based agencies to service better and serve those in need. I have been accepted to Bridgewater State University for the fall of 2022, and my goal is to graduate with my master's degree in social work. I am a member of the PTK Honor Society and have twice been on the Dean's List. I received the Newman Fellowship Award for 2022 and will continue my community-based work at Bridgewater. I plan to publish a book about living with trauma and open a trauma-based treatment home for teens and young adults. Thank you.